Welcome to Morningstar. I'm Holly Black. With me is Alex Morozov. He's head of equity research at Morningstar. Hello. Hello, Holly. So I think in the last couple of months, one sector that's really been in the spotlight is the one that is racing to find a cure for this coronavirus pandemic. Is this an area you're looking at particularly? Yeah, so um, as part of my uh, coverage universe, I, I cover quite a few life science and medical technology firms that are directly or indirectly involved with the development of uh, either a test uh, for, uh, for COVID-19 or potentially vaccine. And as you said, uh, the sector has been uh, quite hot. So if you look at the uh, prior to pandemic, where uh, uh, what, the, uh, what the stock universe was and uh, where it was right immediately after, Healthcare sector as a whole did, uh, did pretty well, but the uh, life science uh, segment of that has done particularly well. Some of the stocks uh, that, I, that I cover are actually trading at levels above uh, they were uh, the, uh, where they were uh, back uh, back in February, March, and that's really primarily uh, driven by um, uh, by those companies that are more positively affected by the coronavirus. And I think one of the crazy things about this is that we don't even know if they're going to be able to create a cure, and yet their share prices are going up just on that hope. Um, and we're seeing these companies working ways that they've never worked before, developing vaccines before they even know if they work or developing them uh, at a greater speed than ever before. So how should investors be thinking about this sector? Well, um the interesting thing about the, the life science sector is, um, uh, think for example, uh, going back to 19th century, California gold rush. So all the all the folks were uh, running to California, trying to uh, trying to benefit from all the gold that was uh, that was found there. So uh, interestingly enough, the companies that uh, benefited the most from that gold rush, not necessarily the ones that traded in gold. Or, uh, uh, or benefited from uh, uh, from uh, some of those pioneers finding gold. The companies that did the best are the ones that were manufacturing picks and shovels. So the way I look at the at the coronavirus uh, uh, and the potential vaccine is, uh, you can bet on uh, perhaps on a vaccine manufacturer if you'd like, or perhaps what you can do is just take a look at the companies that gonna uh, that gonna benefit uh, regardless of who actually develops that vaccine. Uh, so you look at um, within my coverage universe, a company like Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, this is the company that is on the uh, on the forefront right now of manufacturing tests for COVID, uh, but it's also uh, probably going to be a beneficiary of uh, um, of a likely uh, vaccine once it's developed. The same goes. Uh, for a company like Becton, Diagnost uh, Becton, uh, Becton Dickinson, the company actually manufactures vials, uh, and the vials are a fairly basic, uh, basic commoditized product. But every vaccine will need a vial to, to be sold in. So, um, uh, so looking at the companies that manufacture those picks and shovels is probably the best way uh, 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 to to find the, the winners in the space. And with those share prices, they're one of the few areas that have gone up since uh, the outbreak of the disease. Does that mean there aren't really any good value investment opportunities at the moment? Yeah, it's a little bit more challenging to find uh, great ideas right now in the healthcare space as a whole, uh, but particularly uh, among any companies in the life science space. Most of the life science uh, sector actually trades above our uh, fair value estimate. Maybe the lone exception here is uh, Roche. And uh, uh, Roche is, uh, is a conglomerate, so it's not necessarily a pure play life science firm. It's got a uh, very sizable uh, drug, uh, uh, drug segment, but it also does have a fairly uh, big diagnosis segment. So the diagnostic segment of Roche uh, has uh, potentially um, significant uh, tailwinds from uh, from both the test volume that we're going to see over the next uh, six to 12 months, as, uh, as well as a potential um, uh, antibody test, as well as the potential vaccine. Uh, so uh, Roche is actually trading at a material discount to, uh, to our fair value estimate. So it's probably one of the few ideas that we have in the space. Alex, thank you so much for your time. For Morningstar, I'm Holly Black.